So WrestleMania 37 is coming, and they announced the other day that this year's show will be another two-day show, April 10 and 11, and WrestleMania 38 will be taking place at AT AT&T Stadium, Arlington, Texas, April 3rd, 2022. At this point, one-day show. And then WrestleMania 39 uh, will be at the SoFi Stadium in L.A., April 2, 2023, which was supposed to be where the show would be this year. But they owe Florida. And actually, I don't know what's happening, why they can't be in L.A. next year. It could be something involving when the Super Bowl is going to be there. But anyway. Maybe. The point is, this year, Raymond James Stadium... And that was supposed to be where WrestleMania would be last year. And so this is going to be, at this point, I guess things could change. They've announced there's going to be a fast lane this year. so. But for sure, WrestleMania, they are going to be putting a substantial number of fans into the building. And from day one of this pandemic, at least day one in terms of when WWE moved indoors into an empty building... Vince always wanted to be the first guy to run a big show with fans. And it didn't happen. AW ended up being in Daly's place. And then New Japan started doing full crowds because they had fans that would actually pay attention and follow the rules. (laughs) So here we are. And he's going to be doing it for WrestleMania. So obviously the stadium is going to be outdoors. And they're going to sell probably 15,000 tickets. Now, I think they've been selling 15,000 tickets for football games, which means they're probably going to try and sell 16,000 tickets so that they could have the biggest capacity in Raymond James Stadium since the pandemic hit or whatever. They'll have some sort of deal. But they broke the WrestleMania record last year with zero tickets sold, so now they're (laughs) going to break another record this year, and away we go. So that's the plan. If you want to go to WrestleMania, it's going to be interesting because there's only going to be 15,000 tickets for WrestleMania. So... I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I would probably jack those ticket prices up because you're going to find 15,000 people that if you sell those tickets for 500 or 1,000 bucks a pop, I guarantee you'll get 15,000 people to buy those tickets and go to WrestleMania. You can brag about your gate and everything like that. I don't think they're going to be selling them for a low price, but who knows? We'll see. Well, let me correct you. It'll be 30,000 people. Because it'll be 15,000 people each night, uh, around about that amount. That's and it true. Could be, and it could be more. You know, this is all dependent on what the scale is going to be and what the governor, uh, Ron DeSantis, goes ahead and allows. Like in New York, I think it was 6,200 people up at the, the Buffalo Bills game last night. So it, it all is going to depend. So it could vary. We could technically have a walk up again, just to, all depending on what they decide. You never know what could happen, and I know a lot of people are saying, well, this is going to be the last time they two day- they do two days, and they'll point to Dallas and L.A. Uh, in the next coming years, only being announced as one day. I'm not sold on this being a, you know, this being it for two days, and I can, I, even if it is going to be for WrestleMania next year, I can absolutely see them utilizing the stadium on Saturday uh, the same way they will on Sunday, even if it's not technically the first day of WrestleMania. So, last night we were talking about this, and and Dave talked about how he preferred two nights as opposed to one night, made comparisons to the Tokyo Dome. Obviously, last year they did two nights. It was WrestleMania was two nights last year. It's going to be two nights this year. Looks like it'll be one night next year. In the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also WrestlingObserver.com. So... This year, we've got two days of WrestleMania. WrestleMania is too big for one day. Till next year. Then it'll be just the right size, apparently. So, last year, they did two days. And some people seem to have completely forgotten what happened last year because they're asking all these questions like, well, is it going to be two seven-hour days or what's it going to be? Well, last year, what they did, the first show was three hours long. And the second show... It was about three hours and 20 minutes long, okay? Now, that's not counting the pre-show, but I don't watch the pre-show, so I'm just going to say the first day was three hours. The second day was three hours and 20 minutes. Listen, before 
we had two days of WrestleMania. We used to have an NXT show on Saturday and a WrestleMania on Sunday. So what's the difference taking out an NXT show and putting a second day of WrestleMania in there? To me, if the first day of WrestleMania is three hours and the second day is three and a half hours, I'm, I'm fine with watching that on the WWE Network. Now, what some people might have forgotten, and we never really get real numbers from WWE, so I can't tell you for sure that this, like what the actual business was, what the actual viewership was, but I do know last year, the Saturday show was like huge on social media and Google trends and Twitter trending and everything. It was huge. Day two, it fell off a cliff. Now, I don't know if that absolutely means that like a whole bunch of people watched day one and then like they were over it on day two. I don't know if that happened, but I do know that there was significantly more interest in the first day than there was in the second day. So they have those numbers. I don't. They're doing two days again. So maybe that means that there was just as much interest in day two, even though it wasn't reflected in social media. Now, to me, here is the ideal. But it's not going to happen. The ideal would be if Raw and SmackDown were two-hour shows, the pay-per-views were three-hour shows, and WrestleMania was a four-hour show. Now, you may say, well, Jesus, Brian, are you just reliving your childhood? Well, maybe I am, but you know what? It seemed to work out just fine then. You watched a free show that was two hours long, if you wanted to see a three-hour show, it was a pay-per-view with bigger matches. And once a year, the biggest show of the year, you got an extra hour. Great. Now it's like they want you to watch a free show for three hours, which certainly does not need to be three hours. Then they want you to watch every monthly pay-per-view, which for a while there was like four hours or something like that. And then we had a WrestleMania that was seven and a half hours long. I mean, dude, isn't the idea that you work all year to try to earn yourself an opportunity to wrestle at WrestleMania. Remember they kept doing those stories with John Cena? Oh, I'm not sure I deserve to be at WrestleMania this year. I've got to earn. John Cena's got to earn his shot at WrestleMania. Bro, the show's seven and a half hours. There's like battle royals for men, battle royals for women. There's multi-person matches. There's like, you got to really screw up to not be on WrestleMania nowadays. What happened to the days where it was a special thing to be at WrestleMania? I'm old school. So that would be the ideal, but you know what? It's not going to happen. So what are the options if it is going to happen? Well, to me, you either do two three-and-a-half-hour shows in a smaller building, or you do one gigantic show on one day in a gigantic building. That's what I think that they're going to do starting next year. It's going to be another seven-and-a-half-hour show, I do not know why. It doesn't need to be that long. But I can tell you as somebody who went to WrestleMania every year, with one exception, from 2005 to 2019 or whatever, there is no way that I'm going to try to get in and out of an 80,000-seat building on Saturday and do it again on Sunday. Zero chance, okay? If you want to run two 20,000-seat buildings, I'll go there Saturday and Sunday. But I'm not doing this 80,000 thing on a Saturday and another 80,000 thing on a Sunday, nor do I think they could sell 160,000 tickets in a weekend, unless they're selling them for five bucks a piece. So, long story short, a lot of rambling aside, next year, it's going to be one seven and a half hour show on Sunday, and you're just going to have to sit through it. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.